Hello. It's good to see you. Today we are going to be making a wreath just from Dollar Tree materials. Everything I have here uh, came from Dollar Tree except for my scissors, which I'll show you. I have this pair. Um, these are just some basic little scissors if we need to take any tags off anything. And I have these little snips right here. These are great for um, maybe cutting pipe cleaners or anything like that and any kind of little tags. They're great for that. And then I have these cool little things. These were made by Fiskars. And they're, they're just um, little spring-loaded scissors. They're, they're really great. They have a little piece here that you push up and it holds it together like that. So if we need to remove anything, and everything still has the original tags and plastic on it, so I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to be removing some plastic and some tags, and we're going to take a look at everything first. Now, I don't know what we're going to use. I'm just going to show you these supplies that I've purchased, so we will have a wide variety of things to choose from. First, of course, you're going to need your frame. Now, this is a wire wreath form. I believe it's 14 inches. Yep. Yeah. Now you're going to notice that we have um, there are four wires held together. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Now when we attach the, uh, the stuff to the wreath, we're only going to be attaching it to the second and third wires right here. And these wires are held together by these little pieces here. All the way around. So the first thing we need to do is take off the tag. Just take my little snips here and remove that. So we're actually not going to need the wire right now. We're not going to need this, so I'm just going to move this out of the way. Um, so we don't have a huge work surface. We do have a nice little area, and I'll show you what we're going to be working with. Now this is ribbon. It is wide ribbon. It's um has a piece of plastic on it. Right here you can see that. This is sort of an ivory colored ribbon with gold leaves. So that's one option for our wreath. I thought this was really pretty. I have two rolls of each of these. I also have this one, which is a little darker. You can tell this is more of a like an off-white, and this is um, more of a, a light brown, and it has these pretty copper-colored leaves. So there's that. And the third, well, let's see. This is very similar. You see it has the same type of leaves, but it has the white background to it. And so I have two rolls of each of these types of ribbon. And these are, well they call them chenille stems, uh, they're just pipe cleaners and for this wreath um, we're going to take these 12 inch pipe cleaners, we're going to cut them in half and the pipe cleaners, that's, this is what's going to hold our bundles of ribbon and mesh on the wreath. I bought two packs of those because mainly right now all I want are the green ones. Um, it doesn't actually matter what color you use because once you attach them to the wreath form, I don't think they're going to show. So you could really use any color you want. Now this I was very excited to find. I had to go to three different Dollar Trees to find this. Now this is decorative mesh. This particular bundle of mesh was actually part of their Christmas stuff, Christmas crafts. They already have out multiple aisles of Christmas ornaments, decorations, uh, wrapping paper, and bows. This was with the Christmas crafts. But I really like the uh, decorative mesh. And um, I was looking for the fall decorative mesh. The first two Dollar Trees I went to were totally out. They didn't have any fall mesh left. The third one I went to, I found a ton of it, so that was good. Now this is some of the fall mesh. Now this is a beautiful dark brown and gold. 
and it's for fall. You see it has little pumpkins and stuff on it, and it even shows you a wreath on there that you can make. And I found this one, which is, you know, see this has the gold in it, but it's really kind of an ivory color. This one is more yellow with gold in it. So there's that one. And I also found some in orange with um, with the gold running through there. And finally, I found one that is sort of like a, a sage green with the gold running through it. Now, that, um, I had this, but I think I might use more of this than this. We're going to incorporate all of this into the wreath to some extent. But we also have um, this type of ribbon right here. Now this ribbon has wire in it, and that helps hold its form. You can see it has little words all over it, like uh, give thanks, happy harvest, feast, gratitude, family. I have two spools of this one. And it has a little bit of plastic on it to hold it together. Um, this is a nine foot roll of Crafters Square Wire Edge Ribbon. So it's, it's really pretty. Um, but again, I did notice that a lot of the um, Dollar Trees around here have already sold a lot of their fall crafting ma um, materials like this. They're, they're out. <laughs> And then I found a roll of this sparkly, it's like a copper color. This is also wire ribbon. It has the gold trim around it. That's a nine foot roll. I was only able to find one roll of that. And then I have this one that's similar. It has little pumpkins on it. That one. And then for the two inch ribbon, finally, I have this nice little chevron pattern here in these nice fall colors. You have this sort of a rust color, green and orange, with kind of a white background to it. Oops. So we have four different types of ribbon there. And I also found two little skinny rolls of ribbon in orange and sort of a burgundy color. We have such a beautiful array of fall colors here. We have green, gold, brown, orange, ivory. This is like a burnt orange, and then this is burgundy. And then you have a nice selection of colors here and here in these ribbons as well. So let me clear these out, and then I'll show you some of the other things that we might use in our wreath. Okay. The first thing I have are these decorative picks, and they are just basically um, <laughs> glittery pumpkins. Now, they do have these sticks on here, but of course, you can cut these any way you want to. You can cut them completely off. You could cut them just down short. Um, and I have a hot glue gun, so if when we're done with our wreath, if we feel like sticking a few pumpkins in there and using the hot glue gun to attach them, we could certainly do that. I just really love the color and the size of these little cute little pumpkins here. We do have four in here of these little things. And then I found these. I thought these were really pretty. Now these actually have clips on the back. So you can just clip these in once you have all your uh, ribbon on your wreath. You could take these little clip-on maple leaves, little clip-ons. These are a pretty dark brown, but they are covered in glitter. Very nice. And you don't need a hot glue gun for these since they have the little the clip on the back. And I also found some in gold. It's the, it's the same leaf. It just has gold glitter on it instead of brown. So I have two of each. Um, and these are totally optional. Um, you know, we'll just look at it when we've finished with the ribbon and decide what we want to decorate it with. I also found these cute little pumpkins. And now these also have the little clips, so you don't need a hot glue gun for these either. You just nestle them down in the ribbon, and you open up the clip, and you just clip it onto one or two with the ribbons down where it won't be seen, and it's nice and secure. 
Now these are made of styrofoam and you get three of these for a dollar. And I also bought some, just some artificial flowers. These are um, little, it says they're chrysanthemums. They, they're slightly different color. Um, these are a darker color here. But if we want to, we could take our snips and cut these off down here at the, you know, just go down the stem a little bit. You can push these leaves up if you want to and leave them on there and just cut down here. And then you can hot glue these down into your wreath. Just add a little bit of extra color and a nice texture. I think these would look really pretty in there. And the last bit of decoration, uh, as far as a decorative option I have, is this fall foliage garland. Um, and again, it's just, I love the different colors of these leaves here. And you could, um, you could leave the garland intact and just weave it through your uh, wreath if you wanted to. Or you could just cut these leaves off and hot glue them, you know, down into your, into your wreath so they're secured and they won't come out. But we have orange and we have these interesting yellowish green leaves. They have a little bit of brown in there. This one has orange, yellow, and brown. They're all kind of different, and then you have this one. It looks just kind of like lace almost. And it's glittery. It has a little bit of a shine to it. I bought two of these. This is a five foot fall foliage garland, and I just grabbed two of these. Um, didn't know if I would want them or not, but you know, I figured it would be better to just go ahead and get it in case it was gone the next time I went in there looking for it. Okay. Now I'm going to cut up some ribbon. Now every section of ribbon, I'm going to make it 10 inches long. And I'm going to actually um, do that in a separate video because a lot of people don't want to sit here and watch me cut ribbon for a long time. But I'm going to take each package of this and I'm going to cut some 10 inch sections and just lay them out. So we can take some of each color. We could do three or four pieces of different colors. We're going to combine them together and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. All right, now we have cut all of our ribbon and we are getting ready to make bundles like this. We're going to put together bundles of different types of decorative mesh and ribbon. You see that we have not only cut these pieces for the ribbon. We've dovetailed them and cut a little V-shape in there. We even did the small ones. <laughs> I'll put a link in the description to the uh, video where we cut all of this ribbon if you like to hear uh, ribbon cutting. So we're going to be making lots of bundles and each bundle is held together with a little pipe cleaner. I'm just using the green ones. Now once we have all our bundles made, we're going to attach them to the wreath with these pieces of um, pipe cleaner. So I'll show you how I did these, and we're going to need lots of bundles for our wreath. So I'm going to make each bundle a little bit different. They're not all going to be the same. I'm just going to grab pieces at random, like I have this orange uh, mesh here. You grab the opposing corners, pull. You don't have to pull hard. You don't want to destroy it. You just pull. Tuck. And you're going to hold it. You can hold it between your fingers if you want, or you can use um, a clothespin or a chip clip, really anything, just to kind of hold it in this shape right here. And you don't want to handle it too much because it will make the ends fray. So while you hold this, you're going to grab um, either another piece of mesh or one of the thick ribbons, like this one. See, we could take this one, and again, we're just going to grab the corners, and it's not going to curl up like the, the mesh does, so we're just going to kind of tuck it. 
and I'm just going to hold these together like this so they don't uncurl. And I think I'm going to pick another piece of mesh. You just kind of peel it apart. Again, you grab the opposing corners. I'm still holding these. You grab the opposing corners. You kind of just pull it a little. You want to tuck these ends under. Pinch it together. Like this. So it makes this pretty little swirl. <laughs> so now I have two pieces of mesh and a piece of ribbon. But we're going to do them all different. So I'm holding it. I'm going to grab a two inch ribbon. I'm just going to lay it on top. Hold that. And then a little, I'm just going to take a little skinny ribbon and put that on top. I'm still holding it. I'm going to pinch it like this. Grab a pipe cleaner. This is the turkey part. Take your pipe cleaner. And I just cut all these pipe cleaners in half. So you don't need the full length. Lay it over the top. Now you're going to tuck it under. Hold it. Twist it tight. And then take the entire bundle. Press it up like this. Now this is going to give you a really pretty array of colors and textures here. And once we have them all together on the wreath, I think it's going to look really good. So you have, see you have these pretty colors all together? That is one bundle. Now you want to make sure your pipe cleaner is tight so it's not going to come undone. You want it to stay tight so you can twist it a few times and then you just leave these sticking out like that. So you just kind of fold it in half and it's not going to stay, you know, it's going to flop back down but that's alright. So that's a bundle. There's one. We can do another bundle. We have this piece of brown mesh here. It's already kind of done itself. I don't even really have to do anything to it. Just pinch it. It was just the way it... I cut it and it just curled like that. Like it knew where it wanted to go. So we have this one. Get another one. How about a yellow piece? So again, you kind of uncurl it. Some of the pieces are really curly. Grab the opposing corners. And that's going to cause, oops, that's going to cause it to kind of curl right here. You see how it curls? Grab it. Hold it together like this. I really like this yellow and brown together. That's pretty. And let's try a piece of this ribbon. And it's really just like mesh. It's like tulle, kind of. So... You can kind of pull these corners, but it doesn't really do anything. So I'm just going to take these corners and just kind of fold them together. Just going to kind of hold those tight all together. There. I get a ribbon. Here's the two inch. And you see, I think it makes a nice, um, it makes it look nice to dovetail these uh, ribbons like this. It takes a little extra time, but I really think it's worth it. So you're going to put that on top up there. Hold everything together. Um, here I have this pretty um, sheer orange ribbon. You can put that on top. Grab a pipe cleaner. And again, these pipe cleaners have been cut in half. Okay, I'll just put it over at the top. I'm still just kind of holding it. I'm trying not to let it go. Fold it over. Bring it down under here and you're going to twist it several times. Nice and tight. It's not very even, is it? <laughs> let me try that again. <laughs> kind of even them up a little bit. I'm trying to make them about the same length. Fold it up. And we have another bundle. Now I do, I think the mesh
mesh from Dollar Tree might be a bit thinner than it might be, say, if you bought it at Michael's or somewhere like that. So you're going to need a lot of bundles for a 14-inch wreath. But we'll make, we'll make some more, and I'll, then I'll show you how you add them to the uh, wire frame. Alright, for this bundle, we'll use a green piece of mesh again. I'll show you what I'm doing. So it's curling this way, and you want it to be curling up. You don't want it... To, well, you can do it this way, but what you ultimately want to do is grab the opposing corners which automatically causes these two to kind of do this. They just kind of curl in together. And when you pull it, it stretches it out a little bit. I'm going to tuck these little corners in and hold it just like this. Or again, you can use um, anything. If, if this is not something, if this is not comfortable for you, if you have uh, arthritis or any trouble with your, your fingers, you can of course use, um, you can use you can use any kind of clip. You could use a chip clip. Um, yeah, anything. A clothespin. Doesn't matter. So we have a green one. Let's do one of these cream colored ones. Right here. I have them everywhere around me. There. I'm surrounded by material right now. <laughs> Pull it again. Opposite ends. Got to kind of tuck these under, pinch it, put them together so you, you have them like this. See how long they look when you pull them like that? We'll try a piece of this again. So again, I'm just holding this. I'm just going to kind of fold it and tuck it and put it on top. of ribbon here. Hold it. Get some of the skinny ribbon. Lay that over at the top of the two inch ribbon. Hold it. Get a pipe cleaner. Lay it over. And you're going to gather it up here. Try to keep it even. <laughs> And then you're going to twist it tightly on the underside of this bundle. See? So you have these to fasten it to the frame. Fold it in half. Oh, I like that one. And I've never done this before. This is the first time I've ever done this. I'm going to put a link in the description to a wonderful video I found from a YouTuber. Uh, her YouTube channel, I believe, is Hardworking Mom. I had never watched one of her videos before, but the inspiration for this video came from hers, and I want to give her credit for that because it, um, I found the video very relaxing to watch. It just, something about watching it just made me happy, and I really wanted to try it, so I thought I would share it with you. <laughs> so I'll put a link to her video in the description, too. That's a nice one. And when we get all these together, it's going to look really cool. So let's do another bundle. This time we'll start with the this um sort of like tulle ribbon. Maybe it'll work better if I just kind of fold it. Fold it and hold it. In the middle, we'll put a piece of mesh. I think we'll do two pieces of this tulle ribbon and a piece of mesh in the middle. And the orange in here goes great with this ribbon. Grab the opposing corners, pull it, tuck these under, hold it right there. And then we'll do another one over the top. We'll do this one over the top. Oops, I got two. And just fold it. And put that on top. There. And we'll get our ribbon. There. The 
this one's going to be all orange for the most part. We'll even do this in orange right there. Boy, that's an orange bundle. All of my pipe cleaners are green, but it, I don't think it's really going to matter because I don't think they're going to show. Here's the crucial part. Pinch it together, gather it up, and you want to twist this tightly underneath to hold it all together. There. And then fold it in half. There's your little bundle. Lots of orange in that one. Orange and gold. Really cool. Okay. And again, these are to fasten it to the frame. So there's another bundle. Show you something about this frame. Now I do believe it's going to take, you see you have these sections here. We have one, two, three. Four, five, six. We have six sections. Each one of these sections is going to take about seven bundles. So we're going to need approximately 42 bundles. So we're not going to make them all together, but we'll make a few more together and then we'll fasten some to the wreath. Let's see. Get some brown mesh. We need more brown in here. Grab the opposing corners, pull. Fold these under. Hold it there between your fingers. And, oops, let's get a yellow one here. Pull the opposing corners. You want to tuck in these edges right there. Hold them together. Brown and orange. Um, let's do a green mesh. See, I'm holding it the entire time. I just transferred it to, from one hand to another for a second. Grab the opposing corners, pull it. Kind of roll these edges under. Hold it there. Grab a piece of ribbon, put it there. And a skinny ribbon. And get a little pipe cleaner. I'm going to gather it together and twist tightly right under there. And then you take the bundle, fold it in half. Just kind of do it like that. Ooh, I love that combination of colors. That's pretty. That's a nice one. That's a good bundle. There, see how easy that is? And you can make, you can combine any colors. You could do this for any season. You could get mesh, you could do one for winter or spring, or you could do one for Halloween. You know, they have all kinds of Halloween uh, ribbons and mesh. You could do one for every season if you really wanted to. There, there's a bundle. Let's do one more. We'll start with a clear, or not clear, <laughs> a cream colored mesh. Grab the opposing corners, pull. Tuck in these little edges. Hold it like that. You get little bits everywhere. There's not much you can do about it. Um, we'll go with this ribbon here. And we just, we're going to just fold it. We just kind of roll it in like that. Hold it there. Oh, those look nice together. And what should we put with that? Yeah, we'll do a green. Take a green one, pull the opposing sides, roll these edges under, kind of tuck them in a little bit, and lay it on top like this. 
So you have a little collection. Place a two inch ribbon on top. And a little skinny ribbon on top of that. Now most of the, these pieces were all cut to approximately 10 inches. I did not measure exactly. Um, I don't think it matters. I think as long as you get them all kind of the same size. I don't think it's super important. You don't have to sit there, you know, with a surgeon's precision and measure like that. You don't have to do that. So again, I've twisted it. And then I just kind of squeeze it together down here. I'm not really messing with the ends of the mesh much because they fray. And one thing you can do after you make your wreath is spray it with a spray adhesive and it will help keep these ends of the mesh from fraying and the ribbon too. So you can use any kind of mesh adhesive for that. So there's another bundle. Let's look at the bundles we've made so far. Just in this little bit of time, I've made one, two, three, four, five, six bundles. They're held together with the little pipe cleaners. So let's take these and see if we can attach them to the frame. Oh, actually, I have seven. There's another one on the floor. Okay. Now, like, say we're going to work with this section here. We're just going to start here, and we're only going to attach the pipe cleaners to these two. We're not going to attach anything here or here at this point. So you grab one of these little bundles here, and you look at your your wires, and you're going to just wrap them around those two wires. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing, but I'm just kind of curling it around and around to kind of fasten it on there. I'm just wrapping the pipe cleaner around it. And then you push it to the end. You, you see, it's only going to go as far as here. You just push it down. So it's on there. It's a little floppy, but it's not going to stay that way. Take your next bundle. And you could even do each bundle in certain colors and, you know, do them in a pattern. You could use all the same color all over the wreath. There's really no limit to what you can do. You're really only limited by your imagination. Just like Bob Ross said, you, you're only limited by your imagination. And I guess in this case, your access to different types of ribbon and mesh. I'll slide it over. Now you see, that's just two bundles. Push them together. Grab another bundle. You have to start kind of holding them over to the side so you can work. Um, watching wreath making tutorials and I wanted to make it with all Dollar Tree stuff and I found the video from hardworking mom and I don't know just something about the way she describes things was so relaxing to me it was soothing to listen to her explain things I liked it and I thought I would share but I'm just doing, I'm doing basically the same thing. The only difference is she did not use any of this right here. But I, I, I found some at Dollar Tree and thought I would try it. Another bundle. The process does get a little messy. You get bits of pipe cleaner everywhere, but... That's what vacuum cleaners are for. We just vacuum up the mess when we finish. I just attach it. I'll turn it over and show you. See what I'm doing? I'm just, you can see the pipe cleaners under here. I'm just attaching it to these two. I 
I'm just taking that pipe cleaner and twisting it around and around on that, on those two uh, center the wires in the middle. There. And another bundle. We're still working on that one section. fluffed up the sections, the little pieces of wire and I mean the pieces of ribbon and mesh. I kind of like it the way it is. Alright, how many bundles is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, I believe. So apparently I have eight over here. This is seven. See, there's still quite a bit of room. This is still part of that section. I might need eight per section. But making bundles seems to go pretty fast after you kind of get the hang of it. There's that one. And this is the last one that we have ready at the moment. Let's see if we can get that one in there. show it all at once, but I'm going to show you. It is absolutely beautiful. This, it is, it is massive. Look at this. It looks like this all the way around. I'm going to have to do a thumbnail picture for this. It is, it's huge. It's absolutely just gigantic. Look, at it. it's, it's on a 14 inch frame, but now that we have filled it, with all of our mesh and our ribbon. It is huge. It's absolutely huge. I love this wreath. It turned out so incredibly pretty. Um, so now, while we're looking at it, we could just clip some of the little decorative stuff in here. Um, like maybe we could add some leaves to it. And little pumpkins. So uh, let's see if we can do that. So like we have these little pumpkins here. You see that they're just clipped on here. You can just pop them out of there like that. You come in here. Now you just take this and you can fasten it to um, some ribbon. You could fasten it to the frame, but I'm thinking that would make it sit too far down. So I'm just going to clip it to a little bit of ribbon. Maybe this. Maybe turn it this way. There. And they're extremely lightweight because they're made of styrofoam, so I don't think it's really going to pull on the ribbon any. I don't think it's going to cause a problem. I have three of these. So 
So I'm going to take a second one and bring it over here. And I'm just going to try to position it where it's going to stand up. Um, maybe if I pull this ribbon a little bit out. There we are. There. Perfect. I'm going to take the third one off. They're just little pumpkin clips. They're just sort of clipped on here. Slide it out of there. I'm going to stick this one. I'm going to... Let's read this mouse. Okay, I'm going to just fasten this one down here. Just take... Um, I haven't really fluffed it out properly yet. I'm just going to kind of... Passing it to a little ribbon right there. So that's the little pumpkins. Let's see. And we also have these leaves. We could put these on here. These also have clips, so you don't need uh, any hot glue or anything to fasten these, which is nice. Except the kind of and these are pretty big. Um, maybe we could just nestle it in here and clip it in. There, that's secure. And another one. I have to try to figure out how to get it off this thing. We'll slide the wreath down, maybe right in here, and I'm just going to attach the clip to some, a bit of mesh there. Okay, and now it's just kind of resting up there, but it's fastened, so it's not going to fall. Now let me detach the brown ones, and then we can uh, put those in there too. So I have these brown ones. Um, this, honestly, this wreath is so big, I have no way to position this camera where I can show it all, you, all to you. It is literally just that big. <laughs> I'll nestle it down in here and attach it to this, this ribbon just on the edge. And then, see, so you can just fluff up the, um, the mesh and the ribbon around it. Um, and put the other one up here, I think. No, maybe, maybe over here. And we'll just fasten it to this ribbon right there. Perfect. Okay. Now let me see if I can get you where you can actually look at this a little bit better. Okay. Maybe this will work a little bit better. I just hung it on the doorknob so you could take a look at this a little bit a little bit better. You can see it's, it's very, very large. It's, it's really, really beautiful. I, just, I decided not to add any more decoration to it. Um, I kind of like it the way it is. We have our little, our little pumpkins. There's one. There. There. And our sequin leaves. There's the brown one. The other one's there. And the gold one here. I really think that's enough. I think that is, that's enough decoration. I think it is a very, very beautiful fall wreath. I am very impressed with the way it turned out. Um, it was my first time ever doing anything like that. Um, and I will put all of the materials, they all came from Dollar Tree. I will put them all in the description so you'll know what I used and how much, uh, how much material I had to use to make it. And you can make one yourself. I mean, if I can do it, I know you can do it. It turned out just great. I am very impressed with it. I am <laughs> very, very pleased. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And I will see you again really soon.